constituents of DNA. DNA forms about 40% while histones form about 60% of the chromatin. DNA and histones form a kind of complex structure in which histones form small core particles and DNA is wrapped around these core particles forming the nucleosomes. Each nucleosome has one core particle formed of eight molecules of histones. DNA makes two and a half coils around it. Thus, an interface chromatin fiber has numerous nucleosomes which are arranged like beads on a string as shown in the figure. Such a chromatin fiber coils and supercoils to form a thick metaphase chromosome. Structure of DNA DNA is a double helical structure composed of two polynucleotide strands. They are antiparallel but complementary to each other and are spirally coiled on each other. Now each of them is composed of thousands of repeating nucleotides. Nucleotides are, therefore, structural units of DNA. Each nucleotide is formed by joining of three components. A nitrogenous base, a molecule of pentose sugar, that is deoxyribose, and a molecule of phosphate. The nucleotides in polynucleotide chain are arranged in such a way that the phosphate P and sugar S molecules are arranged lengthwise alternately. The nitrogenous bases are attached to the sugar molecules and are laid horizontally inwards. Nitrogenous bases found in DNA the four types of nitrogenous bases are found in DNA. These are adenine, A, guanine, G, cytosine, C, and thymine, T. The nucleotides of the two polynucleotide chains are joined together through hydrogen bonds. The base pairing is specific. Always, adenine pairs with thymine and guanine pairs with cytosine, that is, A pairs with T and G with C. Now, due to this pairing, the two strands are complementary to each other. The sugar phosphate chains form the sides of a ladder and nitrogenous base pairs form the rungs. Replication of DNA During S stage of interphase of cell cycle, duplication of DNA molecules and consequently duplication of chromosomes takes place. During DNA replication, the two polynucleotide strands of coiled DNA helix start uncoiling and separating at one end and continue forward along the whole length of DNA. The new nucleotides join the exposed nitrogenous bases of the two parental strands and form two new polynucleotide strands complementary to the two parental strands. At the end of replication, two daughter DNA molecules are formed. What are genes? Specific sequences of nitrogenous bases in the segments of DNA molecule act as genes. They carry out synthesis of proteins which formed of polychain or chains. The sequences of three nitrogenous bases are called codons. The sequence of codons 
in gene determines the sequence of amino acids in the peptide chain. There exists a collinearity in the codons in DNA and amino acids in a polypeptide chain. Thus, a gene is a segment of DNA having specific sequences of nucleotides that encode a particular protein. The protein expresses the form of a specific character of the body either by enacting as an enzyme or by forming a structural component. Loss of few nucleotides from the functional sequence of a gene may make it non-functional or may alter the nature of protein synthesized by it. Similarly, substitution of one or more nucleotides by some other nucleotides alters the expression of the normal gene. The phenomenon is called gene mutation. Gene mutations alter the characteristics in the individuals and thus introduce variations in them. Functions of Chromosomes The main functions of chromosomes are as follows. Chromosomes are hereditary vehicles carrying genes from parents to offsprings. Chromosomes control metabolism and other activities of cells by directing synthesis of required proteins. Chromosomes direct various life processes such as cell growth, cell division and cell repair. These guide development and cell differentiation. Chromosomes, X chromosome and Y chromosome play an important role in sex determination.